ready, John? Uh, with that, I'd be glad to take a few of your questions. Yeah. Um, there was a different uh, comment from the president about, you know, if, if people like Caitlyn Jenner wanted to use his bathroom in Trump Tower, she could now. What's happened? No, I, I think that's. So, just to be clear, the president was asked at one point if Caitlyn Jenner was in Trump Tower, and he said, that's great. That's, that's consistent with everything he said. It's a states' rights issue. Um, and, and that's entirely what he believes, that if a state wants to pass uh, a, a law or a rule or an organization wants to do something in compliance with the state rule, that's their right. But it shouldn't be the federal government getting in the way of this. I mean, if you look at this, the law that was passed in 1972 uh, did not contemplate or consider this issue. Number two, the procedure for this guidance letter that was done through the Obama administration was not properly followed. There was no comment period. There was no input from parents, teachers, students, or administrators. None. So if we think about how this was implemented last, last administration, there was zero input, there was zero comment period offered. Teachers and students never had any say in how this was implemented. Number three, there's a reason that the Texas court had this matter enjoined. It's because it didn't follow the law and it had procedural problems. Four, as I mentioned, it's a state right issue. And then five is I think that we do have to recognize that children do enjoy rights from, you know, anti-bullying statutes that are in almost every state. Oh, Jeff. Sean, if I could ask again about the, the delay of the um, executive order until uh, next week, is the administration still trying to craft its uh, legal argument to this to uh, withstand scrutiny? Or why again the delay? I'm not sure I, I don't, I, yeah, and I think I asked and answered this earlier. Um, that, Okay, I, then I'll, I'll explain it to you. Um, I think the president this time, um, we were very careful to understand what the court's concerns were and address them in the follow-up executive order. There also is concern inside the Justice Department and in Homeland Security by some officials uh, this afternoon that uh, were reporting that the White House is looking uh, for them to help build this legal argument to find a conclusion here. No, that's not, that, that we, basically you're saying that we did our due diligence. We looked to the departments to ask them to review certain things. So last week it was, we rushed stuff. This week you're saying that we are taking our time and... No, no, actually that's not true. I, I don't think so and I think um, you using continued unnamed sources, I think it actually is a, it is being, it will be implemented flawlessly because we've done the right thing and gone to these individuals, sought feedback and guidance, um, and done this in, in an unbelievably comprehensive way to ensure that departments and agencies that are going to be executing um, and implementing this fully are aware of what's happening. But there is, um, th this has been done in a very, very comprehensive way. Yeah, so thank you guys. Have a great day. We'll touch base tomorrow in some way. I will see you then. Tune in to CPAC to see the president.